When you're representing the best of the best, everything's great. The turret from Tier 10 Mediums. Spaced armor from outstanding British heavies. The top gun from the Centurion. The Rolls-Royce engine, Britain's finest. And of course, manners and sense of style. At Tier 8, the Carnarvon Action X looks like the pride of a nation from the land of hope and glory. But what's behind the beautiful facade? Well, let's get under the hood. The Carnarvon Action X is a premium tech, a steady earner in battle. There's a business mind in this beautiful machine. In his pursuit of credits, the Briton will take some catching. Its top speed is 36 kilometers per hour, thanks to more than 14 and a half horsepower per ton. Together, both are good indicators that the Carnarvon Action X can reach the front before many, but it's unlikely you would want to. This tank isn't about a stiff upper lip, it's about knowing your vehicle. The upper frontal armor is a mere 130 millimeters and the sides, 50. The upper plate is angled, but will often be penetrated even by the tanks of tier 8. And tiers 9 and 10 will always penetrate. If they strike the ammo rack, well, it's over before it's even begun. You can retreat, but the speed, while good for a heavy, leaves much to be desired when falling back. That's why the Carnarvon Action X shouldn't rush into an attack all guns blazing. The Brit may look nice on the outside, but he knows when to get his hands dirty. Seeing is believing. This is where its turret comes in handy. The front boasts 254 millimeters of armor and 152 on the sides. The tower allows you to draw an enemy into firing with little chance of penetrating, yet you shouldn't directly engage tier 10 tanks. But against his peers, the Carnarvon Action X will stand his ground. During the game, taking cover and peeking from behind a hill is still fun. Almost anything ricochets from the peak over the gun. The space armor allows you to pay less attention to lower level tanks with heat and hess shells. The turret comes complete with a purely British gun. Depression angles of minus 10 degrees. It's certainly a pleasure to play with hills at your disposal. But its alpha is nothing to shout about. That's not a mistake. It really is 230 points of damage. In fact, it's the lowest among its peers. However, it's not about the size of the gun, it's about the penetration. 226 millimeters with an AP shell and 258 with APCR. Even better is its high accuracy, good aiming time and reload of less than 6 seconds. The average damage per minute is second only to the standard Carnarvon at tier 8, 2339. Yet this is just the start. Put in vents, a gun rammer, and a vertical stabilizer. You think we're finished? Nope, with brothers in arms, pudding and tea, and voila. Suddenly we've added almost 30% more DPM at nearly 3,000. All of this combined makes the Carnarvon Action X unlike any classic heavy tank. Shoot, roll back, wait to reload, and repeat isn't his thing. This Brit has more energy. You can protrude from behind a hill, ricochet rounds off the turret, fire back and change position. With its high accuracy, you can hit the target often, and with the high penetration, you'll deal damage. This will help you earn a steady stream of credits. The Carnarvon Action X deals damage with little effort against Tiers 6 and 7. It's a little bit more difficult with Tier 8 and above, but accuracy helps. The Briton uses precise strikes, so that you can target the commander's hatch or the driver's locale with enviable regularity. Let's talk about the rate of fire. While the big and slow Oho shoots at Carnarvon Action X once, the Briton will have time to fire off three, that's right, three times. If you take a hit by the third time you fire, the Japanese will be going right back to the garage. Surprisingly, the same can be done with the autoloaders. If you approach them tactically, wait for the AMX 5100 to fire at an ally, then join the fight. Yes, the Briton will also take damage, but while the Frenchman is reloading, you can relax and have fun.
Now let's talk DBM. A platoon of the three Carnarvons is one short of the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Accuracy and stabilization allow you to hit moving targets. You shouldn't aim at the silhouette, but at certain parts of the tank. At the chassis, at a forward or rear sprocket wheel. This way you have more of a chance to destroy a track. A quick-firing Brit, well, that's especially nice. The enemy doesn't have time to restore their tracks. They will just be destroyed again and again, until the enemy is no more. He doesn't do it because he's an altruist. You get XP and credits for helping your fellow allies. And his best skill of all is taking shelter after unleashing damage. The Briton shoots and drives off before enemies can respond. By targeting modules, he can do so much more than 230 damage. Causing fires and ammo racking enemies is especially advantageous when you want to improve your income. With him in your arsenal, there's no such thing as boring or slow battles. The Brit has two states. He's either shooting or preparing to shoot. Whether the tank is idle, on the move, peeking out, hiding, or anything else. The main thing is not to stop. He's for those who like to shoot a lot and quickly, and for those who want to earn and are ready to give their all.